What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I am back today to give you a review of the A6 GT2160 in this white and black colorway. A6 had a huge year last year, not only with their limited collaborations, but also their general releases as well. So this year A6 is kicking things off with a brand new colorway of the GT2160. This one is a general release and they recently landed on the A6 Canada website along with some of the Canadian boutiques like Soul Stop, which is where I grabbed this pair from. So these retail for a price of 120 US dollars or $180 here in Canada. And the official colorway for this shoe according to their website is simply just white and black. So the GT2160 was originally released as a budget-friendly performance running shoe and I believe they launched back in 2011. But over the last couple years, this model has had a bit of a resurgence and it's one of ASIC's most popular lifestyle models and it's great because it's comfortable but it's also still pretty budget-friendly nowadays as well. Especially when you compare it to the price for example of a Gel KN014, these ones are a lot more affordable. So jumping right into the details, on the toe box you can see that the majority of the base layer of the shoe, this is covered in this honeycomb shaped mesh. So this is a white colored mesh which gives the shoe a very bright and clean appearance. Right above this towards the laces we have this white colored synthetic overlay with the black A6 branding and then on the medial edge of the toe box we have this small hit of the silver reflective 3M. Overlaid on either side of the toe box, we have more of these synthetic overlays with the edges colored in this cream color. And then surrounding the front toe cap, the overlay here is done in more of an off-white or sail color. Covering the bottom two eyelets, we have the same sail or off-white colored overlay. And the same can be seen on the top three eyelets where this is covered in a synthetic leather. Covering the mid panel, you can see we have more of these synthetic overlays and a mix of silver, white, and off-white and we have that open style mesh underneath this. And then towards the heel of the shoe, we have this black colored synthetic leather layer and it's colored in silver in the middle. And here you can find GT2160 branding embossed onto the lateral side. On the bottom of the heel, we have this black colored synthetic layer. And then in the middle, we have this puffy 3D gel branding, which is done in this bright green color. And then the very top of the heel, we have a small reflective layer, which is done in this white color. As far as the laces go, so this pair only comes with one lace option and they're an oval shaped lace done in this white color. Underneath this, the mesh is primarily covered in that same honeycomb shaped open style mesh that the majority of the body of the shoe was constructed out of. And then at the very top of the tongue, we have more of a tightly wound mesh. And then in the middle, we have the semicircle overlay with ASICS branding done once again in that bright green color. The back of the tongue and the interior of the shoe, this is covered in this white colored mesh. And then as far as the insoles go, these come with your standard foam line insole, but it's covered in black on the top and we have A6 GT2160 pressed onto the heel in green. So the upper of the shoe sits atop this chunky EVA foam midsole and this midsole is painted in this cream color. In case within the shoe, we have ASICS gel technology, which helps with impact protection and shock absorption. And this is visible on the lateral heel, along with the center of the heel as well. And then turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is constructed out of a black colored rubber. We have these grooves throughout to help with flexibility. And then in the middle, you can see we have this cream TPU shank plate, which is what ASICS calls their Trustec technology. And this is there to help with torsional rigidity and midfoot support and to help prevent your foot from twisting when you're walking or running. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my GT2160s, so I personally stick true to size. My foot measures as a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me perfectly in a slightly snug but comfortable way. So if you have a narrow, normal, or even a slightly wide foot, true to size should be fine for you guys, but if you have a wider foot or if you're in between sizes and you prefer more of a spacious shoe, then you can definitely also go up half a size as well. Moving on to the comfort, so this shoe is comfortable but it's not an overly soft and plush feeling sneaker. To be honest, the heel of the shoe actually feels pretty firm, so once you put these on feet, you can feel the stiffness of the back half of the midsole. That's not to say it's uncomfortable, you can still feel a little bit of that plushness with the foam, especially underneath the forefoot. But if you're looking for a shoe that's very pillowy, very soft, and gives you that feeling that you're walking on a mattress for example, this is not going to be it. 
This is much more of a supportive sneaker, which actually could be a good thing for those that need to be on their feet many hours. But it comes down to your personal preference on how you define comfort to be. Are you someone that prefers more of that pillowy, soft feel? Or are you someone that prefers a bit more of a firm, supportive feel? That comes down to your personal preference. Finally, in terms of the quality and the craftsmanship on this pair. So first off, material quality unfortunately is not the best. It's expected though because this is technically a performance shoe. So the usual materials that you'll see on a GT2160 is largely just synthetic materials, which is what this shoe is made out of. So we have a bunch of these synthetic overlays, synthetic leathers. There's nothing on this shoe that really has a premium feel, but that's usually the case for this model, especially considering the lower price point. But from a build and craftsmanship standpoint, I had no issues whatsoever. I thought the stitching was really solid, no visible glue stains that I could see. The paint job was good as well. And my left foot and the right foot were consistent and symmetrical. So as long as you're going into this shoe with the mindset and the knowledge that it's not gonna be a shoe that utilizes top-notch materials, then I think it'll be perfectly fine with how these are in real life. So with all that out of the way now, let me toss these on feet, I'll lace them up for you, and I'll show you guys how these look. For a general release GT2160, this is a beautiful colorway, one that I'm a huge fan of. Yes, there's nothing really too special about the shoe, there's nothing special about the materials, and the colorway doesn't really stand out necessarily that much compared to some of the other GR colorways, but I still think this is a great shoe to wear, especially in the spring and summer seasons. At first glance, it's just a very plain, possibly boring colorway, but I actually really like the hits of green on the tongue and the heel. It's just a really random color that adds a little bit more of a dimension to the colorway of this shoe, as opposed to just being a white, cream, and black colorway, which we've definitely seen before across other A6 silhouettes, across other brands as well. And I wouldn't be surprised if these eventually went on sale. So if you're in the market for a comfortable A6 model that will not break the bank and a shoe that goes with pretty much anything you want to rock, this is a shoe that I would highly recommend. So drop a comment down below to let me know what do you guys think about this white and black colorway of the A6 GT2160. What are your overall thoughts on this pair? Is it something you can see yourself rocking? Are you not a fan of that 2010s era running shoe turned lifestyle sneaker? Whatever you think about them, drop a comment down below and let's talk about it. And as usual, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check out my X or Twitter at sean.go spelt out, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So thanks so much for watching guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this review, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.